You came all the way over here from where you were a few minutes ago? Wow, the least we could do is give you some tech news. I mean, that, good job, you know, like good job. Watching the crypto crash has been a bit confusing as a PC gamer. On the one hand, a lot of quote unquote value has been knocked out of the market. But on the other hand, <gasps> you smell that? GPU! GPUs, baby! <laughs> That's right, as crypto miners sell their now useless GPUs, prices for graphics cards are dropping along with the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies. So much so that GPUs can be found on sale for less than their original MSRP. What That's is happening? That's crazy. What, a... Are they four years old? <laughs> what time is it? In the day. That's... But as PC Gamer writes, if you're going to go out and finally treat yourself to a new frame dispenser, you might want to focus on the more mid-range cards. Because if there's any merit to the deluge of leaks we've seen in the past month, Nvidia is planning to launch their upper tier RTX 40 series cards this summer. Be wary of impulse decisions. The time of crypto is ending. Oh. The United States and Japan reportedly plan to work together to take on Taiwanese semiconductor powerhouse, TSMC. And no, unfortunately, it doesn't involve combining a number of cat-shaped robots into one man-shaped robot. Ah. Which I'm still hoping, maybe later. The Megachord. <laughs> Chord? <laughs> According to Japanese industry publication Nikkei, a number of companies from the two countries, that's what they're called, will cooperate to design and manufacture two nanometer chips. And the plan might even involve establishing a new company or a joint manufacturing hub made of robot cats. Just an idea, think about it. It's morphin' time. <laughs> rawr, rawr. What does he do? I haven't seen the movie. Uh America and Japan better get going though, because TSMC just unveiled its new N2 process node, which will start to produce two nanometer chips in 2025 using GAFET technology. GAF, ga, get off it. That's what I'm calling it. And Elon Musk seemed to waffle a bit on his free speech focused vision for Twitter in his first all hands meeting with Twitter employees, the transcript of which was leaked this week. Among talk of layoffs and wanting to be more like WeChat, Musk said that while people should be able to tweet basically whatever they want within the law, it shouldn't be amplified. Logically leading to the same sort of algorithmic Twitter moderation that he initially criticized. Oh. <laughs> oh, he just wanted it a bit different. But I guess you could say that at least now he's being consistent by firing a number of SpaceX employees who drafted a letter signed by hundreds of their coworkers criticizing Elon's public behavior as CEO of the company. Analysts say the firing may actually violate labor laws, but this is the world's richest man we're talking about. He has a number of legal options available to him. Including to getting in a spaceship, that's and that's what I was gonna say. It wasn't written there, but we just knew. <laughs> we are friends. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by the OnePlus 10 Pro 5G, available now with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. That's plenty of space for photos, videos, apps, music, and really any type of digital file that people may wanna keep on a mobile device. Legal documents, important letters, the 10 Pro 5G features a 120 hertz display with LTPO technology and OnePlus's HyperBoost gaming engine for smooth gaming sessions. And it comes with a 65 watt wired charger that can get your device to 100% battery in just 34 minutes. Wow. wow! Learn more about the OnePlus 10 Pro 5G at the link below. Quick bits aren't the answer to everything, but when in doubt, they can work in a pinch. Rumors about Valve's follow-up to its Index VR headset have sparked up again after YouTuber Brad Lynch posted about a patent recently filed by the company. It depicts what appears to be a standalone unit with a wider facial interface and a fancy strap. It's got little dongles on it. It's glitter. Shut up. Sprinkles. It could be true that this mock-up is Valve's upcoming headset, codenamed Deckard but it could also be a random drawing by a very, very skilled toddler. There's just no way to be sure. But check out Brad's video if you wanna get more specific than that. He gets into the details. There's more. Are you a replicant? I noticed. <laughs> Apple said their new stage manager feature for iPad OS 16 requires the ability to memory swap, so it can only run on M1 iPads. But a developer has now found that A, the 64 gig M1 iPad Air doesn't have memory swapping, but it can run Stage Manager, and B, there's an internal mode that can actually enable Stage Manager on all older iPads. Gotcha. Now, at second glance, this seems less scandalous and more like exactly something Apple would say. It doesn't support it is Apple speak for shut up, shut your goddamn mouth. I hate you. 
I'll tell you what you want. You're nothing to me. The latest PlayStation exclusive to come to PC is a doozy. The Final Fantasy VII Remake, which launched only a year ago, is available on Steam right now. And yes, I've already downloaded it. Nice. And then you're supposed to give me a high five. You don't care. Nope. Square Enix also announced that part two of what will be the Final Fantasy Remake trilogy, titled Rebirth, will launch on PS5 next winter, whatever that means. It's not really important because what, what, what? PC rules. <laughs> Sonos has confirmed that customers who received way more speakers in the mail than they actually ordered, one guy got 30 extra packages, will be able to keep them at no charge. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Although this isn't a story about Sonos being so great as much as it is about Sonos complying with FTC regulations. Honestly, these days that doesn't seem like a given. That guy's got speakers. <laughs> What's he gonna Just do? sets them up around him. Play. And an international group of researchers has published a study that found workers who spent a week working entirely in virtual reality reported more anxiety, lower productivity, and even migraines, which doesn't make Mark Zuckerberg's vision of the future of work in the metaverse seem all that enticing. I mean, even if you could play Beat Saber on your lunch break, would it be worth coming home with a massive headache, not sure which reality you're actually in? Coming home? You're at home. <laughs> Stay. A good marker would be if people have legs or not. Yeah. I'm sure that this reality is collapsing, so come back on Monday for more tech news. We'll have fixed the glitches by then. That's right, baby!